Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. I'm at the north end of Area 2 Beach at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Still a beautiful, beautiful city, Naples, despite all the problems we're having with the red tide and other things that might be lurking out there in the water. It's pretty calm out here right now. The water is really flat. Not having to deal with the smell of the red tide right now, just the smell of the dead fish. As we look to the north here, there's a beautiful bird over here, a night heron, all by its lonesome little self here, beautiful little night heron. A lot of people see those night herons and wonder what they are. But that is a night heron. You can see the dead fish on the beach. Oh, and there it goes, further down the beach. Well, still dealing with the dead fish on the beach and the red tide. I'm not gonna try to hide that from you. Do we have any new sea turtle nests on the beach? I don't know. Let's see one of our park rangers up ahead of me. Huge, huge thunderstorms out in the Gulf right now. You can hear some thunder rumbling in the distance every once in a while. Beautiful, look at that sky though, beautiful blue sky. But sadly, we have to look at that. Still, looking at a beach lined with dead fish. Our park rangers aren't even gonna bother to start picking these up until the red tide subsides. It's just a never ending battle. Darn raccoon, look at that, number nest 39. Raccoons are still trying to get into that nest. The raccoons might be disappearing here from the park. There's basically starving to death the raccoons here because there hasn't been anybody out at the beach because of the red tide so there's no garbage and the raccoons are de getting desperate they're trying to get into the sea turtle nests to get the eggs and they're also resorting to eating the fish out here the dead fish on the beach that have the red that died from the red tide and that's killing the raccoons This red tide is taking its toll on a lot of things. Not just things that swim in the water. Not just marine life, it's also killing businesses that depend on the water. A lot of our restaurants up in Fort Myers Beach, are up there along the beach. They've closed down. Absolutely terrible. There's a lot of people getting sick. 
because of this, people with respiratory illnesses. Even our friend Roy wound up in the hospital. It's not a pretty sight here. Definitely not a pretty sight. Not good for our biggest industry, which is tourism. So sad seeing all these little, be these beautiful little fish all dead along the beach. What a sad sight. Rangers are up here checking out the sea turtle nests. Seeing who's getting in them. See if there's been any hatchings. Any invaders. nest 24 and it looks like something was digging around at it and nest should be hatching oh, looks like something got in this nest darn it how sad uh. Was this, did something get in there or was that an old nest? You know, I, I want to say that this was a, uh, a false crawl because it wasn't caged. So we probably marked it as a false, false crawl, not realizing that they actually got oh, really? here. Um, and it looks like it was predated because it wasn't, it wasn't caged. Um, darn so it. We'll see, uh, darn, darn. Here. That's so sad. Yeah, it happens. Seems like it's been happening a lot more though. Yeah, you know, I with think these, with this red tide, yeah. they're all, nobody's been here to feed the raccoons. Yeah, yeah they're, they're starving they're to death. Hungry. And they're resorting to eating the dead fish. And, yep. Ugh, a sad, sad thing. That's so sad seeing when the raccoons get into these nests. But you see, every once in a while, as hard as they try, you see that was possibly, that was a, what the rangers thought was a false crawl and the turtle actually did lay eggs, so they can't find them all. They do miss some once in a while. But sadly, they missed it, and they didn't cage it, and the raccoons found it. It's darn raccoons. Can't blame them, though. They're starving. But look at this. Look at it. Just a line of dead fish. hear the thunder rumbling in the distance. I don't know if you can hear it in the video. Look at that big thunderhead out there. Wow. That's a big thunderstorm out in the Gulf. All kinds of fish here. Not just fish, there's eels, horseshoe crabs. They found a big Goliath grouper here on the beach yesterday. Sad. So, so sad. It's 
horrible to look at that, isn't it? But we got to get the message out there. People have to know what's going on. Awareness is key. I don't know what it's going to take to get it through our politicians' heads. But something needs to be done. Red tide, yes. Red tide is a natural occurrence. But is there something else going on here? Is there something else going on here besides red tide? Look at all these dead fish just piled up, just piled up. Take a screenshot of that, share it with your friend, show them what's going on. There's three horseshoe crabs right there. One, two, three. Three dead horseshoe crabs amongst all the dead fish. Ugh. Now these used to not be so... Oh, look at this. Here's sand dollars. Little dead sand dollars all along the beach. I'm gonna pick them up here. There's a handful of little baby sand dollars. See quite a few of them here along the shore. Quite a few of them. Another sad sight. More victims to the red tide, I'm guessing. There's quite a few of them washed up along here. Look how small some of them are. Look at this. Here's a little teeny tiny one. Little baby sand dollars. Something else over here. That at one time wasn't a real common sight along the beach. They call it a crucifix fish. But now, with this red tide, we've had so many dead catfish on the beach. This is the skeleton of a catfish. I'm trying to get the seaweed off it. But they call that a crucifix fish. Hang on, if, let me get it to focus here. If you look close, can you see the crucifix in it? It's kind of cool. Use your imagination there. You should, should be playing as day seeing the crucifix there. The crucifix fish. little dead puffer fish over here. So, so sad seeing these guys. So sad.
everywhere we look. Dead fish. Yeah, it looks like there's a big fish up here on the beach ahead of me. I really haven't even been looking for any shells. land here, huh? It's terrible. Horseshoe crabs. breaks my heart to see our beaches to see my beach Del Wiggins me and Roy's hangout looking like this so 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 sad no people an empty beach Look at the color of the water. Ugh. Absolutely horrible. Absolutely disgusting. You're not going to see an image like that on the cover of Travel Magazine, that's for sure. Look at the size of this fish. Look at the size of that thing. That is probably 26 inches, 28 inches. Very, very sad seeing a sight like that. Just one, one of the millions and millions now, the victims of the red tide. And look at this, raccoon tracks out here on the beach. See them down here? They are getting desperate, desperate for food. They were actually over sniffing this fish, around this fish. And raccoons eat these fish and they're going to be dead. But they're getting desperate for food. Lots of dead eels on the beach. Not just fish. Completely empty beach this morning. The only people out here are the park rangers attempting to do their job the best they can. Bloated puffer fish all along the beach.
Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Wow, there's a beautiful shell down here. Absolutely gorgeous olive shell. Wonder if there's something in it. Yep, it's a live olive shell. I had a feeling that was alive. That is a beautiful, beautiful shell right there. Look at that olive shell. A beautiful olive, look how shiny that is. You can see the snail in there. Probably dying, I'm sure, from the red tide. Beautiful shell, so sad that we're gonna lose these beautiful little creatures. That is a magnificent shell. I feel guilty putting it in the water. Potential death sentence. What do you do? What do you do with these poor animals? Look at the color of that water. Looks like almost like sewage. So disgusting. Looking up towards area four and up towards Benita Springs up there. Tons, tons of coquina shells. These are all coquina shells down here. Look at them all. It's like a carpet of coquinas. I'm guessing the red tide killed them. Look at them all. These are all coquina shells. What hasn't this red tide killed? It's killed dolphins and manatees. It's probably killed. It's probably killed our fighting conks, I'm sure. I'm sure they can't survive our beautiful little fighting conks. Killing our sea turtles. Well, I know you've seen pictures of all these dead creatures on the beach, even that whale shark up in Sanibel. My goodness. It's taking its toll.
on everything. Raccoons have been around. They've been snooping around. This is our newest sea turtle nest, I believe, still number 60, but looks like raccoons have been snooping around it. Sadly, looking for something to eat. Right now there's not much of a breeze, so it's not too bad out here. The stench of the red tide isn't affecting me here yet. I'm not gonna stay out here too long. The stench of the fish is terrible, the rotting fish on the beach. Normally, I'd be very excited being out here with this tide going out here. Looks like it's going to be a pretty low tide. Great for shelling, but under the circumstances, it's not very exciting walking around all of this death. I mean, here's something. Here's something to add to my collection, but... Look at that beautiful, nice size sand dollar. A nice size sand dollar. Not too long ago, this was alive. Not anymore. It's a big sand dollar. There's thousands of these sand dollars just off the shore here. Hopefully they're still alive. Nobody, nobody on this beach. The only people are the park rangers and myself. I don't blame them. Who would want to be out here in this disgusting mess? Absolutely disgusting. As I walk along the beach here, I just hope to find something nice. Something besides dead fish everywhere.
There's a whelk, probably on its way out. A beautiful lightning whelk. There's definitely a whelk in there. That's a beautiful shell. I believe. I'm going to see if I can detect any movement in there. A beautiful whelk shell. And I have a feeling that whelk is dead. Put some a little water in there, see if it moves. That is a beautiful shell right there. I don't see that thing moving at all. How sad. How, how sad. See if it can get any movement there. That is a gorgeous shell. Such a shame. this guy out in the water here. I just feel so guilty putting these shells in the water. We'll come back and check. Hopefully nobody will pick it up. There's a break in the dead fish right here. That's nice. That's how that red tide just comes in pockets. There's only a couple of dead fish along the beach here. The water is definitely disgusting here. the color of the water. So, so sad. It's amazing how yesterday, all of a sudden, governor decides to declare a state of emergency. Oh, just yesterday. Nothing like being on the ball. We all know what that's about. Elections are just around the corner. What a sombering beach walk. Hmm. We're up in the 
Area 4. Up in... This is Roy's Beach up here, Area 4. As most of you know by now, he was moved to rehab yesterday. He's out of the hospital and in rehab. He starts his physical therapy this morning. So keep Roy in your thoughts and prayers as well. As, huh, as well as Southwest Florida and all these water problems we're having and everybody else in the state of Florida dealing with this water and other crises around the country. Oh. birds out here on the sandbar but look at how this has changed the shape of the beach here look at this this is up in area four this is all relatively new within the past few days past five days maybe look at this little pit out here it's like a that is incredible amazing how this beach changes shape sadly that water is absolutely horrific looking one because it's kind of a dead pool here and two because of the red tide that water is just disgusting there Right up in there, that's where our friend Roy would be sitting. Normally I find some pretty nice shells out here. Not seeing a whole lot of stuff right now. Some fighting conks. Nice little Florida fighting conk there. Another fighting conch shell buried in the sand. I'd love to see a live fighting conch. All we're seeing are empty shells. Thank you. 
dead fish piled up on the middle of this sandbar where the high tide would have been, where the water would have been during high tide. I believe low tide's at around 10 o'clock. It's going to be a very, very low tide here today. Lord knows what that's going to expose that's laying on the bottom of the Gulf floor here rotting. nice about being out on this sandbar is it's not lined with dead fish. There's a few like up in the high points of the sandbar but not right around where I'm walking. I have not spotted any Fun shells, no moon shells, no murex shells. Saw that one lightning whelk that was probably dying. Well, hopefully it'll be gone when I go back. Hopefully it will have crawled away, but it didn't look too positive. This is right by where Roy hangs out now, right up there under the trees. Can't believe there's boats going out. There's a sandbar that we just kind of walked around. Interesting things going on with the currents here and the tides. I see a little whelk shell down here. Is that a pear whelk? I'll fall on my butt. There's a little pear whelk. Yeah, so I got a shell. <laughs> Maybe be uh, a little pear whelk, a little fighting conch. Is that a moon shell over there? This is usually, that's a nice size moon shell here and all this death and destruction a moon shell and a pear well and a nice size sand dollar that's my finds my finds so finds so far <laughs> guys in my pocket what else is out here anything some dead fish piled up there underwater here. I 
gets very stagnant here. That's why it's this darker green color. Uh, sad, looks like a dead crab over here. Yeah. The red tide hasn't spared anything. Crabs, fish. It has taken its toll on everything here. I think the saddest, the saddest sight. I've seen those poor dead dolphins. Ugh. I don't think anybody wants to see that. water is so stagnant between that and the red tide all kinds of algae growing on the bottom there horrible 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 disgusting picture. a little further I have to walk by our friends Roy's spot great time to send a prayer out to Roy it'll be right now while I'm walking by his favorite spot at the beach telling him he's not missing much here. You can see the dead fish here. All different sizes species Pleasant sight. There's Audrey's bench up there under the trees. Tide is really, really out there this morning. Still going out. Well, 
normally I'd be really excited about being here at such a low tide. I'd be spending a lot more time looking for shells. With this red tide, it's just depressing. Very depressing. There's two broken shells. There's a piece of a apple murex and a piece of a lightning whelk. Murex on the left, the lightning whelk on the right. I think I'm going to walk out there on the sandbar just for the heck of it. What is that up there? Holy smokes. That is a big eel. That is a big eel there. Dead moray eel. Ugh. Rotten away. That is a big eel. That would have put a hurting on you while it was alive. So, so horrible to see this stuff. But if you don't see it, you won't know what's going on. And hopefully seeing this makes enough people mad. The more people that see it and share it and get mad, the closer we are to hopefully figuring out how to fix this. All alone at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. Just an incredible, incredible sad sight. A desolate beach in Florida. And it's not just this beach, which is all up and down our coastline are like this. And at the root of at the root of this, I can guarantee you, is money and crooked politicians. Guaranteed is the root of this problem. Greed and also price stupidity. Army Corps of Engineers in their brilliance building that dike and dam system around Lake Okeechobee. That thing needs to come down. Pools are just stagnant, disgusting water along the beach. Oh, it's horrible looking. It's horrible looking.
So I'm gonna do a U-turn. There's one little pile of shells here. Anything calling out my name here? Hmm. I don't hear it. Very low tide. You can see there's actually a little beach up there. I think I saw a little moon shell down here, did I? Somewhere buried in the sand. Uh, just an old broken one, piece of one. Another old broken moon shell down here. Can I get a look at the inside of one of them there? It's time to turn around. Start the walk. Past all those dead fish again. Look at the color of that water. Absolutely horrific. Absolutely, absolutely terrible. Holy cow. That is a big fat eel there. What's left of it? That thing is huge. All the flies buzzing around. That is a huge dead eel. Man. So sad seeing that. That thing is huge. Lord. Kind of scary thinking all that stuff swimming around out there. <laughs>
I actually see somebody way down to the south of me on the beach. Maybe it's volunteers cleaning up the beach. That'd be awesome. They can always use help here, picking up these dead fish. Another big eel. Another big dead eel on the beach. Big one and a little one right next to it. All the flies. So Moat Marine just got some money to do some research to figure out what the heck's going on here with this red tide. What is going on? Is it more than red tide? So you definitely want to follow Moat Marine's Facebook page. Find out what they do with that money. What they learn, what they discover. If we're lucky, we able to figure out what's causing it and figure out a way to stop it. Yesterday, I shared what I felt was a very interesting video. It was talk about the history of Lake Okeechobee and how they built the dam around it, the dike and the dam system. It explains how it affected the water flow. You need to check that out. It was actually done, the video was produced by a gal from the Weather Channel. And I felt it, that it was very informative, that's why I shared it. try to educate myself and others the best I can because knowledge is power that's for sure also action take action do something let people know you're angry event on Sunday. Hands along the water. Great turnout. A great turnout on our beaches in Florida, not just Southwest Florida. I went down to the Naples Pier. Great turnout. pretty sight. Just, you look at that sky, it's so beautiful. And then you look at this dirty water. Such a contrast. morning like this normally people would be out here having a blast on the beach soaking in the sunshine the fresh air and all you get is a smell of red tide and rotting fish hmm.
disgusting. Some, I've had people comment that my posts are so depressing. You know, sorry if you don't like it, but I'm not here to promote tourism. Although when it's beautiful out here, it sure feels like I'm promoting tourism, but I just come out to my favorite beach and show it like it is. Most of the time it's beautiful. Now you're seeing the darker side of things. lightning whelk shell part of an old lightning whelk we saw a beautiful live I don't think it was alive sadly I think it was dying if not dead a beautiful live lightning whelk just ahead up here I was hoping it didn't wasn't dead. I set it in the water and in hopes that it was still alive. Right down here, looks like it's in the same place I put it. Let's check on it. Let's see if it's no. That poor thing is dead. What a shame. What a beautiful shell. What a beautiful lightning whelk shell. You know that, that poor little thing fell prey to this red tide. You know what? I know somebody'd want to pick that shell up, but I'm just going to toss this guy back out into the water. As beautiful as that shell is, I'm going to return it to its creator. I wouldn't throw a shell out into the water. I'd walk it out and set it down. I'm just gonna put this guy back in the water where he belongs. Look at that ugly water. Disgusting. An osprey flying overhead. Well, there's still some beauty to behold out here. There are a few people walking the beach. One reason is the red tide, the stench hasn't kicked in yet.
Just the smell of the dead fish though, that's enough to turn most people away. The smell and the sight. All the rotting fish up here. All mixed in with our beautiful seashells. <laughs> sad, sad sight. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Stinks. Sorry. A lot of people actually come out here and throw up. blame them. I don't blame them. Wow. There's a big scallop shell down here. Nice scallop. That's a nice looking scallop shell. You look, you still find something nice out here, but it's few and far between. So, so sad. A little dead turtle. That looks like a freshwater turtle. It doesn't look like one of our little baby loggerheads. How sad is that? Ugh. So much death on the beach. So much, so much death on the beach. What kind of little sea turtle is that? Is that a sea turtle or a freshwater turtle? It does not look like a loggerhead. It's got that little snoot on it. So sad. Terrible sight. Terrible sight.
All that those little shiny spots along the beach are dead fish. That's a big one there. That's a big one. Let's see, by the size of my hand, how big this fish is. Sad. This is nothing compared to what it's like to the north of us up in Lee County. Terrible, terrible sight. Our rangers are spending a lot of time out on the beach today. I think they're down there doing some cleanup. This is a here. This is really sad. You see the dead fish here. But if you look closely, see all these little tracks? Those are raccoon tracks. The raccoons are getting desperate for food. They're coming out onto the beach, and unfortunately, they're eating these infected fish. When they go into convulsions, the raccoons, and die. It's not just marine life that's being affected. I have not seen any dead birds washed up on the beach or on the beach. I don't know what the story is with birds. If they're smart enough not to eat these dead fish, or what? Not just fish, there's another horseshoe crab. We've seen quite a few dead horseshoe crabs. I've been coming out here doing these beach walks now for several years. I started out just coming out and doing sunsets. 
just putting the camera on a tripod and let it sit for sunsets. And one morning I decided to go out and just walk the beach and show people the other side of the, just show them the beach where I've been doing all the sunsets. Oops. Gimbal kind of drooped there. <laughs> And after doing those morning beach walks, I don't know, about three months into doing them, I ran into Roy on the beach. I was with one of our park rangers as he was checking out a sea turtle nest. And that's how I met Roy. We became friends and then I turned Roy into a celebrity. <laughs> he loves. Being in front of everybody on Facebook here. We miss him, definitely miss him. But we became close friends. He'll be back out here. Probably in the winter time is when he'll be out. He's not gonna come out till this red tide goes away. And as long as this water is still warm, we're still gonna have the red tide. You can see, no, there are no fancy machines here. No fancy machines to clean up the beaches here. It's all muscle. Thanks for helping out. Hey everybody, thank you very much. We need all the volunteers we can get out here. Right. <laughs> Anybody wants to come down and help? Please, please come out. Like I said, we don't have the state, the parks in Florida, the state parks, they just don't get the funding that they should get. You know how that works. The first place the money goes is in the pockets. Then what's left trickles down. So our county and our city, they have big machines to clean the beach up, but our state park doesn't. So if you're in Naples, then you gotta, if you have a strong stomach, <laughs> we could sure use the help down here. The Del Nor Wiggins. I've seen, I've seen a lot of little sand dollars on the beach, a lot of dead little sand dollars this morning. Here's, here's another one right here. Lots of dead little sand dollars on the beach. Found a pretty big one there. But the beach is covered with little sand dollars in places. Not the whole beach, but just in areas. The water is terrible looking. Not what you're used to seeing. Horrible. Feel so sorry for these rangers and volunteers out here cleaning up. It's like a never ending battle. Until this red tide goes away, the fish are just gonna keep washing up on the beach. But God bless them for trying. doing what they can. By hand. It's terrible. Some pretty good sized fish out here too.
Are you making a dent? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you are. Wow, you did a good job down there. We just clean a little, as much as we can, yep. when we can. Yep. You got any anybody volunteering at all to help? Oh yeah, we have. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to get you as many as I can. Yeah, no, that's that's great. We appreciate it, but it's a never-ending battle here. It seems. It seems like it. Yeah. Some in a couple days. Well, it's it's kind of. Discouraging when you see them floating out there waiting to come yeah. back in. Yeah, <laughs> that's so sad. You know, Ugh. At least we can breathe a little bit better this yeah, morning. Yeah, this morning it's not bad. Last night it was pretty bad. Yeah, this afternoon when the wind. Yeah, when it kicks up. Yeah. Ugh. Well, I'm sure you'll get quite a few of these containers filled up. Oh yeah. Keep up the good work, though, Mark. Thanks, see you later. Yep. Good luck, brother. <laughs> Mark was saying it's you look out in the water and there's dead fish floating just getting ready to wash back up on the beach it's a never-ending battle but they're doing what they can they've done a really good job here this is I'm down in area one now they've done a really good job of picking them up so far Anybody wants to help out, come on down. Join the party. Volunteers all down the beach. That's a good sign. Not a lot of them. At least there's people working out here to clean it up. pleasant of beach walks this morning but at least you know what's going on be sure to tell your friends about southwest florida television i don't get paid to come out here and do this I try to keep everybody informed with what's going on and my little piece of the world here in Naples, my favorite beach, Del Norwegans. If you like what I do, tell your friends. And if you want to make a little contribution, it always comes in handy. I don't get paid for being out here. You can find my PayPal information on my in the description of this post a little later. Every little bit helps. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Tuesday, wherever you might be. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.